Mammoth guy is sailing over the ocean. Technically a river with his parrot. His parrot is called Perry because it is a parrot, but it can also be a parasite. I am stuck in a squid in water and I am going out to the water. I wanted to rhyme that little water, but I failed so miserably. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> um, I, I forgot how to do an intro. Um, <laughs> uh, he hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, my my name is Mammoth Ma Mammoth the Mammoth. Ma uh, I, I, I'm failing miserably. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I am sailing over the ocean now, and I am trying to get back to spawn because I want to quickly go check out a map that I made or repay these stuff for maps I've made so yes I, I am making zero cents now but that is fine because I am actually going to check out this treasure map first before I do anything and I've actually mapped out like a large chunk of this world and that was just a rough tide do ignore that please <laughs> so you'll also see that I have a parrot because I've actually found a jungle and yes this parrot I've called him Perry because he looks like a parasite, but also because he's a parrot. <laughs> like, he, he, he looks like a parasite because, like, he looks so such a part of my diamond armor. <laughs> I, I am making zero sense. I, I am sorry, but I am not going to re-record this. So, yes, I am just going to sleep quickly with my sleeping bag <laughs> and hopefully not to die. Parry, my lad. It seems we have reached our destination. We are almost at the treasure, my lad. <laughs> I, I am not sure if I'm doing that accent right. I never do any type of accent right. So <laughs> yes, uh, if, if you are offended by that, um, congratulations. You are a pirate and I guess I can arrest you. <laughs> Let's quickly find this treasure, shall we? I shall bring you back when we find this. Uh, uh. Random noise. Wait. Yes! We, 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 we have found us our treasure. <laughs> yes. Please note, always take the chest. <laughs> and also I just put this chest down over here because, yeah, I, I was trying to, to, to break the sand a little bit faster, but yes, it, yeah, yeah, it, it didn't work. <laughs> Alright, the side quest has now been completed and let's go do the main quest now. So yes, let's start this episode, shall we? Or, or not start, just what, 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 one more side quiz. Oh no, oh no, I fell out, I fell out. No! Ah! <laughs> oh no, oh no. I'm fine, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> so let's go to spawn, shall we? And I'll show you the map of the world. I know it's kind of pointless, but I'm going to try to redo my intro. So, hello my little Liabas and strangers of the internet, and welcome back to a second episode of Dragon's... Um, not Dragon's Lair, Studs, SMP. So, yes. <laughs> so, this is the map I've set up, and yes, I've pretty much like mapped out the key parts of like this area. So, you'll see over there, that's where I live. And yes, if you just like go down here. Oh, are you good, bro? <laughs> you good? <laughs> uh, I, 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 ooh, I think he's a little bit sick. Hmm. I'll have to give him some antibiotics. But anyway, <laughs> so yes, then it's just like a river here, so I can actually get like from my base to spawn, um, like just by boat, because I can just like sail down here and then there's like a river like cutting across the continents here. So yeah, that's where I started my intro, like by that river. So yes, then yeah. <laughs> you, honestly, you probably don't care about, um, about the geography of this place, but anyway. So this is where we spawned and yes I've just like set up this area P please please be silent child <laughs> but yes and this is where Tristan lives and yes <laughs> so basically I just wanted to show you this map and yes this is four hours worth of exploring basically <laughs> but luckily I I found a lot of buried treasure and yeesh <laughs> yeesh I, I, I... I, I'm pretty sure he needs a little bit more fresh thing than antibiotics. I I, I, I still can't speak, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a second, I didn't even mention that I had diamond armor. So in the last episode I ended off with with a diamond chest plate and also a... Okay, <laughs> this, this is getting really distracting, but yes, I ended off with a diamond chest plate, a diamond axe and a diamond pickaxe, but yes, I pretty much have full diamond gear now except for a shovel, but I can make that I think. But yes, I've just been doing a little bit of mining and well, uh, I, I've lost him. But yes, let, let, let us continue and yes, I suppose we shall go home now. 
And yes, let, 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 let us go start this episode at home, shall we? I, I'm not even sure if I finished my sentence, but anyway, let, 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 let us journey on. <laughs> you know that awkward moment when you go someplace that's really far and you completely forgot why you went there in the first place, so you just go back home? Uh, yeah, I forgot to drop off this stuff, so... I'm sorry about the chaos again, it, 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 it is really all over the place, but yes, I, 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 must, I must go back and deliver these. Alright, here we go. Now the stuff has been returned, and yes, I don't, I don't think I even really mentioned why I, why I returned these stuff, or why I borrowed these stuff. I'm removing the signs because, yes, it, it, they are no longer necessary. But anyway, well, <laughs> I, I just see Parry up there, but yeah, uh, ne never mind. So, <laughs> so I borrowed some stuff for compasses and sugar, and I also borrowed some sugar cane, which I also need to go return because I, you'll see that there are like four large maps over there, and yes, I need, I needed some stuff, and it is quite a long journey from my place to here. So yes, I just decided to raid the chest quickly. So yes, that 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 is why I borrowed some stuff, and I'm just returning the stuff now. So, so you see it's like a thousand blocks from here to there, so yeah, I, I just decided to just borrow it and leave a sign. But yes, st stealing, is, stealing is not advised. And as we arrive at home, we can see a beacon of spruce and jungle. So I've actually found a jungle biome and yes, I've been exploring the world a lot and I've been doing that by boat. But as fun as it is to sail around the world, I think we actually need to get a far more efficient system. So I've actually been like, offering to make the nether hub for everyone and yes i think i'll just do a nether hub above bedrock if everyone seems to be fine with it and yes or everyone i've spoken to at least but yes i'm going to make a nether hub this episode and i i think this episode might be pretty similar to the episode of dragon's lair that was that was episode six and yes because i'm also going to get some villagers and yes, I'm sorry that this is going to be a similar episode, but unfortunately, that, that that's just stuff I need to do. So yes, I actually I've actually been doing a lot of progress on my base, and yes, as you can see, I've just been like especially expanding the wheat field. And as you can see over here, I've actually got a copy of like the like the world map. And over here, you can see that I've been updating my my map of my area. Uh, like every week and yes as you can see like the the road network is just like expanding more and more as the weeks go on and yes these maps are locked by the way I I'm not sure if I said this in the previous episode but yes that 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 is the plan now you might have noticed that it looked a little bit different from the start of the video and yes uh, something is missing and I don't know how to tell you this but I accidentally decapitated Perry with a shovel that is all and the reason I actually wanted to get a road network done is because I actually want to have like a bases to like um to like base my base off of <laughs> ba base 100. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yes, I am going to be like building buildings like um like by these roads, and yes, I I will be doing that like o over the next few episodes. And as you can see over here, I've actually also made a a like starter thing for my starter base. And yes, this is just like the layout that I'm going to be doing my starter base. And yes, I'm going to be doing that episode as well as the nether hub and also getting some villages. And yes, that is the plan. But I'm getting distracted and I'm going to go to the nether and start the nether hub. So I haven't actually been to the nether yet. So yes, this will be the first time. So we shall go there together. Not too bad, not too bad. It looks quite nice and also quite protected. So let's just quickly check over here. I am in a crimson forest, which is a shame. Ooh, ooh, but warped forest. Yes, that, that, that is what I'm looking for. <laughs> so yes, I suppose we should make the nether hub now. And I'm go just going to mine up to the ceiling and do the bedrock trick and break bedrock. And I'm going to make the nether hub above bedrock like I did in Dragon's Lair and just do a temporary hub up there for now. But yes, I'm going to make a better nether hub eventually, like a decorated one. But for now, we're just going to do it above bedrock. So, E. It is now time to do a pro gamer move, which is called Breaking Bedrock. But first we actually need to go through the bedrock. So I'm actually just going to show you how to do this in case you want to know. Right, I've actually just decided to cut that over there because yes, I, I don't think I should be stealing someone's content. I'm, I'm not sure if, if it is considered stealing content, but I, I'm just going to be safe. So yes, so 
if, if you want the full explanation, then then you'll have to go check out that person's channel. But yes, so you, then you just... I'm still trying to explain somehow, <laughs> even though I have, I've, I've said that I'm not going to explain. Alright, I am nervous. I am just a cape as you can see. Whoa. This is a very weird angle. <laughs> I did not know that was possible, but yes. Excuse me. Uh, I am very nervous, but there is no time to dwindle, so let us do this. <laughs> Wait. Alright, my connection seems to be fine. Please work, please work, please! Please work first time. <sighs> I'm getting flashbacks to Dragon Slayer episode 6. Hopefully this works this time. I am too blessed to be stressed. So, let, let's do this. <sighs> I just realized something. I am holding a shield! That's why this isn't working! <laughs> I, 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 I see. I, I see my fundamental mistake. Um, so, yes, that, that's probably why that wasn't working. But yes, I am too blessed to be stressed. <gasps> yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> but yes, as you can see, I have broken bedrock. I'm I'm a professional. Thank you, thank you. But yes, so e um, I have broken bedrock. I I I don't know what else to say. I I don't have actual health letters. <laughs> but yes, I I'll I'll just do the rest of these breaking bedrock things off camera, or m maybe I won't even do it. But I I I'm I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. But yes, I I'm going to do something. <laughs> so yes, so that is the nether hub complete for now. I might bring you back when I have a little bit of parts or something installed. But yes, so e, let's get on to the next bit, shall we? I t the nether hub is functional. It, do it does work. It doesn't look very pretty, but yes, it, it works. So I'm going to make a bigger, better nether hub at some point, but, but not now. Now I just want it to be functional so people can actually travel to places quickly. So yes, there's actually something I want to admit to you, which is Remember how in the first episode I said I didn't want to die at all in the series? So, yes, then I unfortunately died <laughs> in the first episode and to, to a zombie because I lagged out. And yeah, when I came back, I was dead to a zombie. So, I died again. <laughs> so, you know how I said I was stuck on, on, on top of the bedrock? So, Tristan came and brought me some flint and steel because that, that's all I really needed to make a portal. And I comp completely forgot about the flint and steel. But yes, he brought me the flint and steel, then I just made the portal here at my place, so I can just quickly access it. But anyway, so then yeah, he he, uh, he was stuck here by my place, and I had to take him home by boat. And yes, while we were going home, I lagged out, and yes, I somehow got stuck underneath the boat and drowned. So yeah, <laughs> I, I have two deaths now, but, but that is fine. So... At this rate, I'm going to have two deaths every single episode, or one death every episode. But anyway, let's go check out that nether hub, shall we? And yes, I'm going to get the villages. Yes, let's go get those villages, or actually, let's just check out the nether hub first, and then we'll start with the house after we've done the villages. So, E. <laughs> it's, it ain't much, but yes, it, it's basically just a cobblestone path. <laughs> so, I did the same thing I did for Dragon's Lair, just like writing the names of the places and stuff like that, and trying to mark out the places but if we go over here I actually built a little thing to just put some information and stuff like that and I just want to show you that quick there she blows <laughs> so yes I just made this little building and I just want to show you it quickly and yes so this is just a little building to have some information about the nether hub and yes you can read all this if you like it's not really necessary but yes so then here's just where you put the requests and stuff like that and yes not, not really much to look at but yes it it, it it, it, it is functional. <laughs> also, I'm going to put ice paths in here later on, just so you can go quicker and stuff like that. And yes, I also just put some signs down to just show where where to go, where places are. And obviously people can just put po their portals up on nether roof and just put some signs or pathways or stuff like that here, just as long as they spawn proof it. 
So yes, this is actually the spawn portal, and e <laughs> people can obviously decorate this as much as they like. But yes, this 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 is just what I want to show you: the Nether Hub. It ain't much, but it's a Nether Hub. My friend, hello, my friend. I now kidnap you. If 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 I may kidnap you, that would be very great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, get in the boat, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's just take this first villager. I'm going to. Oh, he doesn't suff suffocate. Uh, I I'm going to get a separate villager just now. And yes, I'm not going to do that on camera. And I'm stuck now. <laughs> so yes, I am just going to take this one home and then come back and get another one. Uh, let's just break that. And yes, hopefully we can not go on the path. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Imagine how painful this must be in real life. Just like using the oars of a canoe and just... <laughs> Bruh, that, that would be incredibly painful to do. <laughs> just to row yourself over land. <laughs> Alright, the mission was a success and I have successfully captured three villagers as you can see over here. But you know what makes me really angry? I saw on this island that there are already three other villagers just standing here, and actually four was here, and th this villager was just standing over here. So I don't understand why I had to go all the way to that village on the other side of, of the continent, sort of, that I'm on. And yes, wh while there was like four villagers here, why, why couldn't they just have shown themselves a little earlier? You little... Hmm. I was gonna say pig, but this is a villager, so... Yeah. <laughs> so anyway... I'm going to build a building for the villages over here, just over here, but I'm not going to do that this episode because I actually want to build my starter base first. So I'm going to build my starter base over here, and by the way, this isn't the final house that I'm going to be living in. I did want to just start with the big house in Dragon's Lair and also here, but then in Dragon's Lair I spent like two months just living on the grass, <laughs> so yes, I just decided to build up a little starter house, and yes, we're going to be building that episode, that this episode. And we're not going to be working with the villagers this episode, but we are going to build a villager hall like right over there. So it's going to be like a longer structure and it's just going to be like on a little peninsula over there. But yes, we are also going to make a little bridge, but that's probably only going to be next episode. Both the, the villager hall and the bridge is probably going to be only next episode. But let's just focus on this this building over here for now. But I guess let's just start the time lapse and I'll explain it all to you when we're done. So let's go. <laughs>
hello, hello, hello. We got ourselves a nice house here. So yeah, we 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 finished building our house, and I I am making the most terrible accent I can possibly ever make. And if you are offended by that, congratulations, you are on the top of my list of things I don't care about. So I finished building the house, and by the way, I'm going into building rent mode. So yes, that is something to 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 consider. But yes, so I finished this house, and you'll notice that the house has a lot of like dull colors, like brown and gray colors, like brown and light gray colors, right? Uh, horse also by the way <laughs> I'll show you that in the next episode but yes so I use these colors because I kind of want to go for a I kind of wanted to go for a like sort of dead a hopeless kind of feeling just like my life <laughs> no no I'm joking I, I, I am very healthy thank you but yes so this isn't the prettiest of houses but yes it, it is intentionally so because it is meant to look dead because if you've watched the Interstellar, then you'll know exactly why it's like this, because like, yeah, because Earth is like kind of dying and stuff like that. And since this is like a farmhouse, uh, I made like a bunch of porches, which, yeah, yeah, just two porches, but anyway. So I'm not going to talk too much about the exterior, but yes, texture and my dog is barking. But <laughs> anyway, um, silence pup. <laughs> But anyway, so you'll see that I put some like wooden things over here and like some iron things over here. And the reason I wanted to go for this is because I wanted to kind of make like a like broken like racks or something like that to make this place like look a little bit abandoned, right? Or like po or like post-apocalyptic, I suppose. And you also see that like all of the plants are actually dead, like dead bushes and I also use these roots to also add a little bit of effect. But yes, I don't think there's much more to talk about on the outside, but I went for like a like white walls for like a modern modern type of farmhouse or futuristic farmhouse I suppose. But <laughs> yes, um, but yeah, texture and stuff like that, outlines for the roof, the deep slate, and yes, I I also like made this chimney over here, and you'll see that there isn't actually smoke. Like I would normally just put smoke there, but. But I intentionally didn't put that there, like I wanted, wanted to put like l as little as possible animation in here. With, like I would normally try to put as much as possible animation, but not, not today. And if we just go inside, wait, let's actually go through the front door. Alright, now that we have gone through the right entrance, you'll see that the inside is a little bit more warmer, like a little bit more lifelike. Um, that was completely unintentional, I, I am not some genius. But yes, so I just like put a bunch of furniture over here and I actually quite like this. Like I put some stripped acacia lug behind there which just makes it look like a little bit more like a cupboard or something like that, like an old cupboard. But I'm also going to put armor on these or like leather armor that's like dyed. And yes, there are just some little details everywhere and also there's actually glowstone behind here which I'm going to show you quickly. Yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> lighting builds is pretty tricky because e even after I I checked in creative mode that everything is fine, it wasn't fine for some reason. But yes, and over here you'll see that I actually used bees nests. Like this is the tops of bees nests, so I don't have any bees nests over here. And these are actually mushroom blocks which I kind of wanted to make them look like dust that was like collecting in the corners because yes, dust is a pretty big thing in, in Interstellar. But yes, here's just a little chest room, not really anything important, but yes, there's just some stuff over there. And yeah, I also made these candles so that it's also dead. So yes, I wanted to really emphasize that fact that this is like a dead, abandoned place. Or not necessarily abandoned, but just like a hope hopeless, like it's gonna die. <laughs> and wait, I wanna show you something epic. I, I made these like little like chests over here. Not not literal chests, but yes. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> but yes, nice uh, the distraction, but I made a little bit of a sort of smelting area over here and I actually made like a little iron fridge over here. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen any of them, but like so sometimes you like find these like metal rusted iron fridges and stuff like that. But yes, so yeah, yeah that. <laughs> But I also put some some barrows over here, so it's like kind of works like like cupboards. I probably won't use most of the storage. I've 
storage I put over here. But yes, there's like a little. I did the bookshelf trick again, like I did for for uh, Dragon Slayer episode seven. Yeah, seven. Um, I I've gone upstairs, uh, not addressing it, but anyway. Some more paintings. I also put some dead coral over here, like stuck to the roof, so it's like, uh, like gray and gray. So yeah, um, yeah. I wanted to make the top floor a little bit more lifelike because this is actually where I live, and yeah, I just wanted to look nice. And it's not nighttime outside, which reminds me, I should probably put back on my armor. But yes, I. This sort of looks like a kind of at attic, and yeah, just put some barrows over here. <laughs> I have way too much storage in this place, but yes, so this this was actually just a a <laughs> but <laughs> um, I, I didn't know what to do with the bed because there wasn't really much space here So I just sort of made like a like a prat like a um a, a baby cottage cage thing <laughs> and with, with just dripstone over the top of it so he's very funny indeed I, I am comedy genius as you can see <laughs> but yes bells to represent me because I like bells cyan I like cyan and also you'll see over here I put some mushroom stems and this is getting this uh, recording is getting long and it's the end of the video so I, I better wrap, wrap up this quickly so yes <laughs> uh, so Yes, that is a house. I do hope you like it. I'll actually run over to the back so you just can so you can just see the back. And yes, I do hope that you like the house. And yes, so I suppose we don't have to sleep on the grass anymore. And if you've made it this far into the video, wait, <laughs> I, I I need to tell you why I've been absent for for a couple of weeks. I, I I've been busy. That that's all you need to know. <laughs> oh, frick, 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 frick. So if you've made it this far into the video, big chunks, and I shall see you next time. Cheerio!